So I just went through all my tools and I got my favorite tools. I'm gonna help my friend out with building his solar power system. Come check it out, that's the van. Guys, we're in the van and we need to build a solar power system over there. The wires for the solar panels, which are on the roof, come out over there and then he's gonna have his appliances while he's on his bed. So against this wall, we're gonna buy a piece of wood that covers it. We're gonna put all the solar power system stuff on that board. We're also in a Home Depot parking lot and the sun is going down. So we are going to try to do this as fast as possible. So have all of the tools and connectors and everything I recommend for my website. So we should be good to go. First, we need to lay out all of the parts so that we know where they're gonna go. So we put this board up against the wall and we're gonna have the battery and big stuff, big switches, big fuses right here. We're gonna have the solar charge controller up here because the wires are gonna come down this way. And then we're gonna have the inverter right here for AC power stuff this way fuse block right here and then DC power stuff going this way so everything will be strategically located around the battery so that we have minimal losses as we have all of the major components connected now we have the inverter the fuse box and the solar charge controller and we've got a 50 amp circuit breaker because it's going to a 40 amp MPPT and we have a 300 amp fuse for a 3000 watt inverter, but we're only going to be using 1000 watts of it. So we're gonna change this to like a 100 amp or 125, but we'll get to that later. And then we also have a negative terminal bus bar. So this is like a basic system, solar charge controller, inverter, and then we will connect the battery to this and to this. And that's it, it will be done. All right guys, we are gonna mount this against the wall and then we're gonna install this battery. Look at that. And so now we're gonna put this lithium iron phosphate battery right here and boom, look at that. So positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative. And then we just have the solar panel wires up here and then they're gonna go down to the solar charge controller and that's it. And then he can add any appliances that he wants. He can plug in his inverter stuff and we'll put the MT50, the solar charge controller monitor somewhere. We're not sure yet because you know, like as he builds it, you don't know where you want to put that. But this stuff is set. You don't have to mess with this at all now. It's completely finished, the main charging and discharging um, appliances. That looks good, that looks good. Okay, now I'll get the, uh, the rest of these cables going. 12.9, so we are good. Woohoo! All right guys, this system is now complete. We have everything connected to the battery and the solar charge controller is working. The inverter turns on. We also have a new fuse, which is a 300 amp just for the main battery cable, just in case it gets rubbed weird over the years or something. And then we have the lithium iron phosphate battery that will be charged to 14.5. The only thing we need to do now is connect these little cables to the solar charge controller and these connect to the solar panels on the roof. All right guys, we tested this system. We also programmed the solar charge controller and hooked it up to solar and the polarity is correct and it's on sealed lead acid because we're using one of these. So everything is set. This system is done.